Hello everybody, how we doing? How we doing? My name is Quantic Flux and today I'm very excited to be checking out a game called Sandwalkers. Uh, it came out in early access on June 19th of this year and uh, it's by Goblin Studio who makes a lot of great games. Thank you very much to Goblin Studio for sending this key my way. Uh, this is a roguelite turn-based exploration game. I've heard that it's very brutal in the beginning. Uh, but without further ado, why don't we head on in and check it out? As one macabre proverb says, for newborns, the sun has always existed. They do not know it only just appeared. For us, the expanse of chaotic weather known as the Fithy has always existed. Yet it is only three centuries old. That is enough, however, to forget the pleasant weather of antifithic legends. The shade of Umama mother of all trees. To recover this mythical past, the Makar tribe sent caravans into the Fithi on a one-way trip east. It was their foolhardy hope that the lost Umama be found, as only Umama could restrain the Fithi. Simply imagine, wisdom gone with the wind, time erasing the scenery, all the knowledge lost and erased. I speak of us, our bodies, our minds, our world. Are we merely supported by giants of old? No, for we are the ones carrying them forward. Oh, how frail they are, as fragile as crystals, as delicate as a butterfly's wings, as ephemeral as a footprint in a sand dune. Listen to the story of the Tallulah, botanist of the seventh caravan. Uh, take on this knowledge, add to it, refine it, then pass it on once again and let it make its way down the gentle slope of existence. Botanist of the Seventh Caravan, one of our ancestors. Interesting. I think, um, based on what I saw earlier when I loaded up the game, the guy talking to us currently was from the 13th Caravan and we're the 14th. Soon after the start of the journey, a storm had taken the Seventh Caravan by surprise. Separated from her peers, Tallulah sought refu uh, refuge, but only ended up buried in sand. When the storm passed, she reemerged, having consumed what little resources she had. Okay. Supplies are at the heart of survival for caravaneers. Lulas are depleted. She is in danger. We seem to be starving. Yikes. Each move has an associated supply cost. When caravaneers... Caravaneers. Sounds strange, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced caravaneers. Uh, run out of supplies. Canavaners? No. It's caravaneers. Uh, anyways, their health gets consumed instead, which may lead to tragedy. This is the current quest goal. The compass points to it in a straight line, but it may lack precision or be totally absent depending on the information at your disposal. Interesting. Okay, so we have to get over here. We're starving. We're going to be taking damage to our health when we move. Yikes. 8% of our health. Okay. Okay, giant cactus looks like. No, Paul. Some cacti are edible. This is a basic Wandian knowledge, crucial to the survival of the Makas caravans. These did not taste of much, but caravaneers knew not to expect much, and Tallulah even more so. Okay. 12% of our health. Yikes. Hold right click to move the camera while keeping the caravan still. Use this to scout for objectives and plan your route. Your current goal is the southeast. Where? I don't think we know. Just generally southeast. Uh, okay. Six of our supplies are going to be used when we do this, but we'll get 15 back. So we'll have more than the max. Fair enough. Eight to get 16. Sure. Okay. Eight to get here. Look out. Okay. Probably shows us more of the map, I had to guess. Yup. Wow. Okay. Pretty barren, I'd say. All right. Eight to get 15. Seems like a fair trade. Sea of Sand. After crawling alone for ages, Tallulah finally reached the Sea of Sand, where she had been separated from her caravan. Tellers she recalled from her childhood would talk of anti... Uh antifithic legends regarding the seas of sand which had once supposedly been covered in water 
The grains of sand would have been merely merely been the dust of seashells laying at the bottom. Interesting. The movement cost of the caravan depends. The movement cost of the caravan depends on terrain type. Might be sometimes more efficient to go around. Okay. Well, I think we should get this though. Um, what, what is this thing? <laughs> 12 to get 12. That's not great. Whoa. All right. The wasp move is way too sensitive. <laughs> All right. Let's go here, I guess. We got chitinous shards. Chitinous? Not sure. Okay, 10 to get 15 sounds reasonable. Hmm, 14. Six, okay. Tallulah wasn't surprised, but could not refrain from feeling some measure of disappointment. Hoping for the impossible was, after all, what fueled the caravans. Search gives us two health potions. Herbal cures, okay. The desert was no place for prudishness. Tallulah gathered what remained of the cargo. That is to say, not much at all. Survivor. As Tallulah prayed, she thought she heard the sand whine. One would sometimes hear the dunes cry, but this was this thought was quickly wiped away as something emerged from the sand. The protector had survived. Sweet, we gotta hope. The caravan is held together by the faith in the mission. This takes this makes hope a crucial resource. If it falls to zero, the caravan disbands and abandons its quest. Okay. Many different situations can give or take hope. In addition, various levels of hope can trigger buffs, debuffs, and special events. Interesting. Plus 50% shield, increase in very positive events, all reputations plus two. Okay. So we run out of supplies to go there. Maybe not if we go this way. Okay, I think I made things worse. <laughs> we lost a bit of health, but we got more supplies. Okay. Each caravaneer has a spell they can cast during exploration. Once they've been used, you can only regain them by resting in town. Use them wisely. Fertilize arid fields and plants. Shields up. Okay. Grab that. Why, uh, why aren't we grabbing this? Is it not fertilized? Needed macerate. Okay. We did it. We've got supplies. Nice. What is this? Can't click on it yet, apparently. Okay, well, might as well do this. Yes. Hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. Biome Gradensic? Not sure, that's a little bug though. Um, okay. So it costs two to walk on you, it costs two to walk on sand, so it's not doesn't really matter here. Prepare for battle and position your units. All right. Honest. Collects 50% of damage taken back to the assailant. Okay. Poison. Sure, sure, sure. Three shield, six health. Okay. Three shield, six health as well. You seem like a melee target. Physical damage. So, yeah, you're definitely the tank, Baba. And I. 
Can I put Tallulah behind you? Looks like no. Okay. You just entered combat. This happens when you encounter hostile creatures and people. In combat phases, you are trying to defeat your opponents while minimizing the damage sustained by your caravan members. Each character in battle has a speed stat that determines the position in the turn order. When all characters are played, a new turn begins. Characters have a life and shield value. Shield regenerates at the end of the fight, but health does not. Character dies if their health goes down to zero. Okay. Now, does this give the target of my attack thorns? Because if so, that seems bad. No, it gives them plus seven mental defense, maybe, in thorns. What do you do? You're attacking Tallulah, it looks like. Okay. If you're attacking Tallulah, I should probably buff ourselves here. Okay, we took damage. You blasted my shields. But then you stunned yourself somehow? Okay. Doubles damage from the next attack. You're weak to something. Okay. Well, we can either do 12 damage now or 9 damage and then double the next attack. So I guess I think that's smarter. I get freaking wrecked. Okay, we gain 10 water maybe and I don't know, 10 something else. <laughs> Gigant. Among the desert predators, Gigant scouts were once were ones a pre protector could defeat. Okay. Uh, this confrontation carried high stakes, however. They managed to return to their colony. They would bring back a very a veritable flood of voracious insects just a few days later. Sometimes one must strike preemptively. No caravan is truly equipped to confront the fifthy when it sets out. Each caravaneer builds up experience, which is then shared and redistributed within the group. Oniromancy is quite convenient for this. Okay. Click on a caravaneer. Caravaneer. I don't know why I can't say that word. <laughs> to spend experience. Okay. Tallulah. Leveling up a caravaneer improves their attributes and potentially their attacks and exploration spills. They may even gain new ones. Okay. Spend your caravan experience on this caravaneer to level them up. Sure. Okay, so blue things are experience. Okay. Hmm. You're pretty slow. Kind of want to level you up, but you have much less shielding, so I guess we'll do you. Okay, pick a skill. Nine mental damage, maybe, and weakened. Seems useful. Protected. The next incoming attack is diverted to the protecting ally. Caster gets 14 shield, but diverts the attack. No, you're a tank of some sort. You get 14 shield and you absorb the attack, okay? 21 damage, shield disintegration 2. Our own shields? Hmm, I can't tell. I think I'd rather have the AoE weaken, though. Uh, could be used to make tools, small weapons, scales. Okay, cool. Source 50% health. We don't need that yet. We have enough to level you up. No, we have nothing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, okay. We go here. Ooh, oh my god. Small herd. Okay, we get supplies. Oh my god, we found a tree? No, that's not the right tree. La Quasi. The Makah generally say the seventh caravan was swallowed whole and would forever sleep underneath the Uwandian sands. We tellers, however, always favor more open-ended interpretations. 
Had Tallulah entrusted her secrets to our ancestors, or was this a mere fantasy of tellers in search of the improbable, transmitted and transformed through the generations? It falls on you now to bear the weight of this question and many more still. What I had the fifthy appeared? What happened to Amama, who once covered Uwandu in her cool shade? How may we erase the one while recovering the other? Chaotic weather that came after the mother tree disappeared. It took many forms and created as many dangers. Okay. It falls on you to light this path for future generations. Good luck, Maka. Hold on to hope, for nothing will stop the caravans from moving forward. Not even death. In truth, caravanners could not reach you, Mama. Caravanners. No one could. These trips were simply meant to expand their knowledge of the world, the Fithi, and other tribes. Then... To use homing scarabs to send all these memories back to the crystal library. However, as time passed, hope was waning, like nature in the desert. This sacrifice was proving too much. The Makar needed a sign. A sign such as this. We call it a fragment. An ancient artifact belonging to an ancient tribe, destroyed by the Fithi who would carve their history in stone. If the caravans could find more, we might learn what circumstances created the Fithi, and thus, how to beat it. Okay, cool. Apart from finding Umama herself, finding fragments are the greatest discoveries you can make. It will help you understand the origins of the Fithi and how to per permanently defeat it. Okay, cool. Butterfly Orison. You recall that butterfly attracted by our fire's ardent flame? Oh well, said he, better to shine for a second than to live in the shadows. Could that butterfly even imagine? Could it even imagine that in burning it would carry away the entire forest? Interesting. This fragment challenged our scholars. It was a lament in memory of a forest, without mentioning whether it was a mushroom forest, a cactus forest, or something else entirely. A controversial and improbable hypothesis, nonetheless corroborated by other elements, suggests that it may have been a forest of trees. It may have been that in anti- Pithic times, Uwanda was covered in city trees. Okay. Interesting. All right, I think we're about to get into our first run. You are in the city tree of Lakwazi. This is where your journey begins. Locations such as cities are the perfect place to find quests. The most important quests can span several generations. Click here to obtain a quest. Okay. Foundation myth. Uwanda was once covered by the branches of Umama, the mother tree climate that would eventually become the Fithi was appeased by her presence. It only became a realm of chaos haunted by violent winds and storms after what the legend describes as Umama's death. We found ourselves in the sunset of Wando, which meant Umama was towards the east. Okay, if Umama is dead, then what are we trying to do here? Our country, the expanse from Lakwazi, the caravan's point of departure to Umama, the goal. Once a rich and healthy soil, it had now become nothing but dangerous deserts. Together, we were the Macaw Caravan. The search for any trace of Umama was enough to justify our journey. It was hard to imagine a world without the Fithi's relentless assault, but still that hope would feed our will to live. Okay. Helping others bolsters your reputation and can lead to great discoveries. You may leave Quasi if you're done. Birdsong echoed against the mossy, leaf-covered walls, the shifting shadows of which had protected us from the Fithi since time immemorial. Only caravaners... Caravaners... Caravanners, yep, got it. And the insane would dare leave the bark of the quasi. Okay. Westboard. Oh, we saw this already. Crystal Library. This is the Crystal Library. Here you may trade the memory points you sent back for knowledge to improve your caravan. Some knowledge requires you to obtain a given number of fragments to unlock. Okay. We have none. Hydromancer, genius, archaeologist. Okay, so you can unlock classes, sure. Interestingly, it doesn't say the level that you can get in these. The number zero denotes that it's probably more than one. Quests, Macaw, Reputation, Roads, Terrasser. Okay. Oh, down here it says 10. Got it. Okay, so it's it's a hefty looks like okay leave unlike tales of past caravans there was no guard of honor 
No ovation, no sacrifice or blessing beyond the usual words. The councillor came alone by obligation. The 14th caravan with just a teller, a botanist, a protector, and an anaromancer left for the Fethi in total anonymity. Man, they really did us dirty. We felt as though we were the last. Some would say that we were the first. Wandu is a, la a vast and ever-changing. The region map displays reliable landmarks you found in your expedition. You use them to plan your route. Goals and active quests display on the map if you know their location. If Umama truly exists, she must be in the east. But caravans have much to do before they're strong enough and the route is secure enough to reach her. You may close the map. Okay. The road to Musawenkozi. Musawenkozi was the closest city tree to the Lakwazi. It was important for Maka morale to hear from other trees, and so caravans knew they would always be well received and be able to get some rest. Okay. One of the caravan's missions was to bring Lakwazi's aid to other Wandu shelters such as Musako Musa Winkozi. We made a note of its location. It could be a good idea to stop there. Okay. So it sounds like I should probably go there. Okay. So this is the main quest. This is not. We get reputation with something. And EXP. We get nothing for Musa Winkozi. It's kind of messed up. Okay. Where are we? I do not know. Uh, here you can manage the stuff you carry. Take into consideration the weight of items, their worth, and utility. You can also review the health of caravan members and equip them. Okay. We've got a snail, an elephant, snake, and another snake. So we know this guy and this guy's classes. We don't know this one, which looks like a bard, or this one, which... You know, who knows? Looks like you're a tank. Wow. Not good for the tank to have this ability. Yikes. Regenerating shields. Okay. Five turns bring movement cost down to zero. Seems pretty helpful. Okay. 30 max per max supply seems useful. Regenerates plants. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, so, sounds like we should be going east, generally. So, we will. Uh, six supplies, and we get damage fur. Seems useful what is uh what is this blue thing though abandoned crates okay i wish i had seen that earlier large herd okay what uh what is this this cactus but i don't feel like that's true it doesn't look like a cactus <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll go here. Can't help but notice that we're in acid rain, by the way. Okay, I thought that was going to take up one um, of the three supplies. It did not. Cactus, okay. Couple bugs here and there with the, um, the tags and code being presented instead of whatever they're supposed to be called. Uh, cost 8 gets 10. Seems reasonable. Ambush chance is up 5%. You hate seeing that. Damage fur can be traded. Okay. Okay, so we should keep going generally to the right. Oh, ran directly into an ant. All right, ant, prepare to be destroyed. Uh-oh, you got friends. <laughs> prepare for battle and position your units. Okay. Yeah, you definitely seem like a tank. You're definitely a tank. 
Vicious Mockery. D&D style. You're a bard. Okay. And you can tank people too. Okay. Uh, sounds fine. All right. Bard. You could hit all of them. Or no, it's not an AoE. You can hit any of them, it should say. I should say, not it should say. And we can weaken them. So who's doing the most damage? 18. You're getting shield. 17, okay. So you're already resisting that. You're not resisting that. So we should probably weaken this dude. Okay. You broke your shield. Which stunned you, huh? Okay. Interesting. That makes me think that we should be paying much more aggressively. Get shield broken. Nerd. Okay. You have 46 shield. Can't help but notice. If we kill a target with this, we get 17 shields. Sounds good. Get wrecked. Okay, now you need to get shield back, my friend. You don't seem to have a way to do that. But you do have an AoE attack. Okay, you did get shield. Never mind. Alright, what are you doing? You're blasting my dude here. You're blasting him. He's got a bunch of shield. Doesn't matter. So let's nerf you. How are you doing? Six? Okay, you are, in fact, doing a damage. So I think that we should give you some more shield. Okay. And then kill you, get some more shield. We can't. We can only target the front line. Fair enough. Um, I think it's fine. I think we blast you anyways. Get your shield lower. And then you. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. You're dealing eight, which is not enough to kill, so what do I care? say we kill this dude we can't but we can with this get wrecked okay and now since you're not you're not gonna be messing with us too bad we're gonna go all out assault get destroyed we broke your shield um double your damage Iraq. Easy dub. Got some ant meat. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm thinking that our weakest unit is this elephant guy. So we should probably level him up. Bank ass. <laughs> okay. Raise shield. Which will give the caster a bunch of shield and also protect someone. Sounds really good. Or we can do 13 physical damage and slow. I think I'd rather raise shield. Okay. Keep moving generally down into the right. Lose 9, get 12. Okay, now we're in an area where it costs twice as much to move. Wow, we're, we're already running out of supplies. That's crazy. I think we also didn't get supplies from the place I stopped, which is a bummer. Uh, we discovered vast terraced fields under rapid harvest by a veritable army of flowens. Not all the crops seemed to be ripe, but we were told that a storm was approaching and they were already doubting whether there were enough to save what could be saved. Okay. We could use our ability to... Help them. Uh, 
Um, I'm not seeing a great reason to use our fertilize ability. I think I'd rather water. Okay. What do these berries do for us? Gains five supplies. That seems useful. I think we should use them. Okay. Uh, what are you? I think... Yikes. Not a lot of good options here, huh? <laughs> um... I really wish I had gotten that. But I guess we move forwards. Fight this dude, get these supplies. Okay. A lot of dudes. Okay. You got to go before I got to do anything, and you did a ton of damage. Oh my god. We're getting absolutely bodied here. Surprise explosion. You're just blasting all four of us? Holy crap. I feel like we're not supposed to be here. Okay. Um. Uh, we can only reach the front line with that, huh? Thanks. Uh, okay. You guys are both gonna shield break me. So I think we give thorns to the front line. Taking a lot of poison damage. Holy. Okay. Get some shields back. I think we gotta protect the back line. Okay. Immune to stun. And you're still doing an explosion. I think we gotta kill you, dude. Um, let's blast him with some venom. I haven't paid attention to... It's the end of the turn. It's not good. You've already had your turn. I think we gotta kill this guy, though. Okay. I'm gonna do lightning. There's not much I can do about it. Um, we can stun you, though. Okay, good. Fifteen and slow. That's fine. I'm doing nineteen to him, though. It's not super great. Uh, okay, let's protect you, I suppose. Just get a massive amount of shields. Dude, poison is brutal, by the way. Holy. Okay, now you're doing an explosion that I can't stun. Die. Yeah, that's fine. Get our shields up. Seems like you guys can't um, target my back line, which is nice. So let's start blasting.
nerf your damage. It's an AoE. Get you some poison. Yeah, the poison doesn't feel so good, does it, you jerk? Um, we start blasting. Nice. Okay, we could do more poison in the stun. Or we could kill this guy. Get stunned, idiot. You win. Smoke grenade. Okay. Looks like we can't use that. We don't know how. <laughs> we have to unlock the meta progress for it. The bright side is we got something that increases our supplies by five, so we might not take damage. Oh, wait. We're not taking damage anyways getting there. Okay. Perfect. Uh, who do we want to level up? I'm thinking the bard. Seems pretty useful. Okay. You heal. Seems insanely useful. Plus 19 shields. Exalted 2 deals 50% more damage with the next attack. That's also useful. And then remove someone's shields entirely at the cost of your own. I think the health seems the most useful. You're an interesting class. You're both our healer and our damage dealer. Okay. And then let's level up the botanist. 21 damage, disintegrate shields for two turns. Or weaken in an AoE seems good. Infested suffers 50% more damage, deals damage to all allies if the unit dies with this effect. How much damage? That also seems useful. Hmm. I think... A 21 damage attack that can target anyone is the most useful thing we have here. I'm going to take that. All right, let's lose 12 supplies to gain 12 supplies. Desert lands. High ward shards. Okay. The fight down there looks like. About to run out of supplies. Of course, they're up there. <laughs> Okay, we're starving. However, we're going to use... Did it automatically use our thing for us? That's a problem. I was relying on that existing. Okay, we're going to move here. Take a little bit of damage, but we're going to use this item. We got 12 supplies. Nice. Hmm... Yikes. What are time worn shards? Just trade them. Hmm. Ah, uh, boy, oh boy. I think we're in trouble. Taking a lot of damage. Going down is not super helpful to us. But we don't have any other visible supplies. But what if we get here and it's fine? <laughs> oh boy. Tough choices here. What is happening? We got ambushed, looks like. Okay. You seem to be doing an AoE. 15 damage in an AoE. I'd rather you didn't do that. Uh, You're blasting the crap out of us, and there's not much I can do about it. Uh, 
Um, hmm. <laughs> Yikes. This dude's taking a lot of damage. I think we blast the guy that's hitting all of us. Weaken him. End of their turn. Yeah, so there's nothing I can do to prevent this from happening. I can at least prevent a bunch of damage coming in that way. Never mind. <laughs> Shield broke. Oh my god. Yikes. That's a lot of damage you just took, my friend. Um. Gotta get your shields up. We absolutely have to heal this gentleman. And I think we might have to do damage here. Yeah. Stun this dude. Good. Heal this dude. Being able to heal is definitely a game changer. Alright, you're blasting him for 10. Who cares? You're blasting him for whatever. Who cares? Um, we could stun you. But I think I'd rather hit this guy. Okay, next turn, we kill the guy in the back. Yeah, just buff up our shields. Myrtleize this guy, stun this one. Okay, you didn't die. You lied to me about the efficacy of your move. <laughs> okay, we should definitely heal. You have such low health. Holy crap. Wait, it looks like we can overheal. Can you not heal yourself? You can heal anybody but yourself. That's rough. So we really got to protect them. Okay. Let's kill the back line for sure. You're stunned. Okay, that's my bad. Um, now we start doing damage. We've got resistance, huh? Get destroyed. Okay, we get another heal. Wish we could heal yourself, but we can't. Um, I doubt the overheal lasts, so it makes the most sense to heal you. Poison. Die, nerd. You win. Okay. Sick. We got supplies. You'll love to see that. Okay. Hmm. We have enough to level you. Perfect. 22 damage removes debuffs. From the person we're attacking? Reduces hope? From us? I'm unclear on these two. <laughs> I think I'd like to slow, though. Though, you're so slow that it probably doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, I think it uses the supplies automatically when we're about to run out. Yeah, it does. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of damage coming here, but that's okay. 
All right. Yeah, it's a long way around, but it is close to where we need to be. So I say we do this. Okay. That's the city we need to go to. So what we're going to do is use this to get those supplies. These come back when we... when we um, visit a city. So, reduces movement cost by two for the next 10 moves. Boom. So now it's free. I think we fight this for the EXP and then we head down. And you know what? We might as well just get the supplies from that giant beetle as well. Okay, these guys were tough last time we fought them. We're all level two now, though. Okay. Could not care less if you target my tank. Okay, what are you doing? Okay. So we're going to stun this dude. Nerd. We are going to, before he can reduce your damage, we're going to put poison on you. Can't reach. Okay, but we can stun you. Okay, there's a huge difference between level one and two. Ouch. All right. I think that we continue targeting you guys. Slow you. Do some damage in the process. And then you're going to blast this dude so the guy behind takes damage, I think. Okay. Probably should have given you a shield. You're not stunned anymore, so die. We can't reach you with that. Crap. Can with this, though. Get wrecked, nerd. Okay. It's a bummer. You're going to stun my dude. Uh, we could give you thorns. 19 times 2 is, what, 39? Not going to be enough. Um... But it will reflect damage. Okay, it's exactly enough. <laughs> hmm. I think we should give yourself shields. What just happened? The hell, you say? Sorry about that. Um, okay. We're attacking everyone, huh? I think we should kill you. But you're both targeting him. Yikes. Ooh, you get to go before me. Not good. Suffer 10 damage, huh? Yikes. Okay, well, you need to die. Fourteen, fourteen, and then burn. So let's do thorns, I suppose. Okay, we should be good. Let's slow these gentlemen. Uh, double damage. Mm. I think we heal. 
we're pretty good at the moment, so like, yeah, heal it up, dude. Slow you some more. Uh, we could stun you if we wanted to. All right, you heal, thank you, boy. You destroy this dude. You freaking wreck. You win. Black pearls, sure. Yeah, we absolutely bodied them. Let's get some more supplies. Then let's use this. And we'll head over to Musa Winkozi. A soft warmth enveloped us as we entered the tree. We were submerged in its heady aromas and birdsong mixed with the bustle of the macaw. We were home. Okay. Active abilities all come back. You'll love to see that. Melkon's Cannon. Melkon's Cannon, head of the Oniromancer cult of Musa Winkozi, wished for us to recover a fetish destined for his chapel. Okay, so a quest? Sure. Going through Musa Winkozi always entailed visiting the chapel that housed the shell of the Oniromancer, Melkon, our ancestor. The first city tree to have reached maturity in the Mythic Age. Uh, as we gazed upon it, the cannon came to meet us. He claimed to hold great admiration for caravans. He recounted the story of the Musa Winkozi and then subtly shifted to his own concerns. He was currently awaiting a marvelous jet fetish to add to their collection of relics. This powerful artifact was meant to bolster the powers of his Oniromancers. Tragically, however, the nebulous merchants who were to deliver it were robbed by pirates. He explained where the wreckage lay, in case we were in an adventurous mood. Okay. No other quest? Fine. Uh, we should definitely rest. What is this? Recruitment? Aeromancer, Pyromancer, Hunter? Okay, those are all new classes. Looks like we don't have whatever is required to get them, and also our slots are full, so we can't. But uh, let's check out the market. The worth of items can vary from one tribe to another. It could be profitable to buy a certain item somewhere to sell somewhere else later. For example, Tarassers see little worth in plants. They already grow themselves, but they value meats and tools highly. Are you a terrasser? What are you? Uh, so that's helpful for us. So is that. So is that. So is that. Wait, what the heck? We got armor and I didn't even know it? Looks like all our stuff. Wait, no. This is stuff that you're selling. Got it. Okay. So we don't need this. We don't need that. Or this. It looks like it tells you if the price is good with a green, maybe. Which is helpful. But what's happening? Oh. Right click. Got it. Okay. And the rest is important I mean it seems like important to get these how much money do we have oh 160 to 80 holy crap we have a lot seems useful 165. Okay, exactly even. Seems fair. Let's rest. First lodging was vast and filled with travelers. Some wary and unwelcoming. Others amicable and chatty. Okay. Acquired reputation, five. How do we respect it? Got it. So we only have three. 
Okay. That's wicked far away. Holy crap. So we have to get this stuff back to the tree. Is that what it's telling me? Not sure. Uh, who wants armor, though? Pen shield, one agility, 25 physical resistance. You don't have physical resistance, so probably should give it to you. All right. Uh, well, I think that's where we're going to call it since we're at the 50-minute uh, mark. But yeah, what a really cool game. Um, I can see how people were saying that the... Um, supplies running out is a little brutal but i mean hey we made it to the first quest without issue um how we get further from here i'm not entirely sure <laughs> but uh i'd say we did pretty well uh the pixel art style is fantastic i like the combat the character classes are very interesting and strange <laughs> and uh yeah i like what i'm seeing here um huh I don't know. Hold on. Let me check out the price. It looks like it's $19.99 early access. Uh, I came out on the 19th, and I think they said six months of early access. So, yeah, I mean, there doesn't seem to be a demo out. But if you're interested in the game, I suggest that you wishlist it. It helps out the developers a lot. And, uh, yeah, I think you should check that game out if you're interested. Um, if you want to help me out a lot, I'd appreciate it greatly if you left a comment and or a like. That'll help me out with engagement. Currently getting slaughtered because of summertime, but uh, <laughs> I'm hopeful that we'll get back. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate your time, and I hope I see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.